So today is relaxer day prep. So this entire um, relaxer day vlog, if you will, will be basically my pre-relaxer regimen relaxer day and maybe post relaxer as well. I'm not entirely sure, so we'll see. Yeah, relaxer day prep really starts a week prior and that's what I'm doing today. So as you guys can see, half of my hair is done. So I've detangled and um, moisturized or misted my hair with a little mix I have here. So this is water and Aussie Moist mixed together. And then I just spray my hair, section it off and detangle. Um, that way there's no tangles when I'm shampooing because I'm switching my relaxer. I'm about 12 weeks post, so that's three months. There's a lot of new growth going on, and it's puffy, it's cloudy, it's kinky, it's coily, it's beautiful, I love it. But um, relaxer day is quickly approaching. So I always prep a week prior, not the day before, not three days before, a good week. Um, about five to seven days I give myself to prep for relaxer day. So I sectioned it off, combed it out, braided it up, and now I'm going to do this side and then I'm gonna shampoo. So as far as tools go for this step, um, I use my wide tooth comb. You guys know I love and use this comb. It's been a staple in my regimen, in my hair journey for years. And then I use, well, I'm out of Aussie Moist right now. So I'm using the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist with my spray bottle. So a mixture of water and um, conditioner. I kind of eyeball it. I really don't know the mixture portion. A little bit of this, more so water, and then you have your mix, claw clips, to section off my hair and that's it. So I'm done. I have about six, yeah, six braids. So three on each side. And I don't know if you guys can see all the new growth that I have, all the waves that are in. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how much hair I lost through the detangling process. And mind you, I haven't combed my hair in a while. I haven't done much to my hair this relaxer stretch. Um, I've been very lazy with the styles, but very diligent in my wash day regimen. So just being consistent with that, but not really doing much to it, like combing it and styling it, just keeping it very simple, very minimal. So now that everything is braided and ready to go, I'm going to clarify my hair. So I'm gonna be using the Affirm Neutralizing Shampoo. Yes, you can use a neutralizing shampoo to clarify your hair. This doubles as basically two products. There are surfactants in here that can cleanse your hair. So removing dirt buildup, um, product buildup, oils, all of that. So I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be doing two lathers with the neutralizing shampoo. And then I'm going to use my Bestie, my hydrating and detangling shampoo from Care Care. So I'll probably do two lathers with this as well. So two and two. And then I'm going to move into protein. All right, so here is the protein conditioner or reconstruct that I'll be using today. This is from Joico. It's called K-Pack Reconstructing Conditioner. And this I've used in the past and I definitely want to revisit it. On the back here it says it's a reconstructing conditioner. It fortifies, reconstructs, and strengthens damaged hair, smooths, detangles, and reduces static. So I'll be using this because I just finished shampooing. I'm going to apply it all throughout. I'm not going to mix it with any coconut oil. I'm just going to use it on its own and then um, cover my hair with a plastic cap for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. So my hair feels really soft, clean. And detangled and one thing about the braids you always want to leave some room at the root so that you can shampoo and have access to your new growth and your scalp so just an FYI the Affirm neutralizing shampoo combined with the care care hydrating and detangling shampoo amazing so now we're gonna use 
K-Pack. So we're starting off with this amount. Oh, it's pretty thick. Ooh. Glides on very nicely. Gotta clip this up. There we go. All right, so I just finished rinsing out my protein treatment out of my hair. A lot of back and forth, in and out, in and out the shower. It's super annoying, but that's how it is when you clarify your hair first. Now I'm gonna do a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment with my Caracare. You guys already know I love and use that product. And then I'm gonna mix it with some oils, so my avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil, my three penetrating oils, and that's it. And wash day will basically be done. I'll put my leave-ins in, air dry, detangle as always, and then I don't touch my hair for a week, a good maybe five days or so. All right, so I have my Care Care Humecto deep conditioner right here. So this will be my moisturizing treatment for today. And then I have my three penetrating oils, so nothing too fancy. This is the usual. So I have my coconut oil, avocado oil, olive oil, of course. And then I'm gonna take maybe like a teaspoon of these three and then add it to that. And here's my mixing bowl. So I'm just gonna mix everything together and then apply it and then go under my hooded dryer for about maybe half an hour or so. Happy Thursday. So we are pretty much done this week. Relaxer day is tomorrow. And tomorrow I'll be 13 weeks post relaxer. So I'm really happy about that. I was able to stretch my relaxer a good week past what I normally do. And the whole plan moving forward is to just relax every 12 to 14 weeks. That way I'm relaxing four times a year and it's not too excessive. It's with the seasons and it just works. This week has been pretty easy going. Haven't really done much to my hair and that's typically what I like to do prior to a relaxer. I just keep things very basic, very minimal and the whole goal behind that is to not agitate my scalp. So if you do agitate your scalp and itch it and all of that, tug it, pull it, it can cause relaxer burns um, and obviously we don't want that. So just keeping things really basic and minimal Minimal is my go-to. So all I've been doing is just moisturizing sealing maybe every other day or so. I haven't really sprayed much on my new growth just because I want it clear and just free of any kind of product so that the relaxer can actually take. And um, just putting on my satin scarf and bonnet at night. That's it. So right now I have it down. I'm wearing my little, what is this, headband. I got this from Amazon like a while ago and my hair is down right now. So yeah, not much to report. It's just been a very simple, easygoing week. So I've been using the Talia Wajid Protective Mist Botifier. So I've been using this in my roots at times and then also on my ends to moisturize it. And then to seal everything in, I've been using my trusty jojoba oil. So that's basically it guys. I just moisturize. As I mentioned, I cover my hair with my satin scarf and bonnet every night. And I just do like very basic style. So maybe like a low loose bun or a high bun or I just leave it down and call it a day. My plan is to have my sister relax the back tomorrow so she'll be doing that for me and then I will get a trim Saturday morning. So I'm gonna have to flat iron tomorrow so I can trim on straight hair, straight dry hair um, Saturday. So it's basically like a two day process but I'm kind of used to that because I don't do my own trims. Um, I just kind of maintain the hemline of my hair, just little dustings here and there and that's it. So yeah, I'm excited and I'll see you guys relax today. So that's tomorrow. Stay tuned. All 
right guys so it is a relaxer day and here is the relaxer day lineup all right so i'm going to start from this side first so here i have the affirm system that i'll be relaxing with so step one is protecto so protecto acts like a protector over your previously relaxed hair so this in conjunction with porosity control is what i use this is kind of running a little bit low that's why i brought out the porosity control and you guys already know my routine with the porosity control i always apply this first and then i seal it in with the dax to make sure that no relaxer runoff touches or penetrates my hair and then i twist it up so my relaxer process is much faster and easier i have my relaxer so as you guys can see this was step one step two is the relaxer i'm using the normal strength in the cream conditioning relaxer system by Affirm. And then I'm gonna follow up with the positive link conditioner. This is step three. So after you relax, you condition, you don't neutralize, but because the pH level in the positive link is so low, it acts like a neutralizer. So I'll be using this and then I'm going to neutralize with the normalizing shampoo and this is color coded as well so it will indicate if the relaxer is still in my hair it will be pink and if not it will be white so i don't need to do the 5 5 10 rule with this system i think max you just neutralize for two washes and then you're good to go because this also acts as a neutralizer it brings the ph way down because it's a ph of 4.5 so yeah after i neutralize i'm going to shampoo with my Amazing Care Care Hydrating and Detangling Shampoo. Love this stuff. So this will help bring a little bit more moisture back into the hair. But honestly, this shampoo is extremely moisturizing. So um, I really don't need it, but I like to use this as well just because. And then I'm going to deep condition with my silicone mix bamboo. Um, I can't really decide. Most likely I'll use this. I may switch it out for something else, but I don't have any more Joico Moisture Recovery Balm. So this is the next best thing. And of course, gloves can't forget your gloves so I have this um, to put on so me and my sister will be using this and my mixing bowl so I'm gonna be taking out yeah don't judge me I know my rat tail comb is missing teeth that's just how it is it works and I like it that way so I'll be putting my relaxer in this bowl because I'm not gonna scoop from the container itself and double dip so I'll take out a portion of what I need put it in here and my sister will use uh, the lid to put her relaxer on for the back because she always does the back for me. Right now I'm going to twist up my hair, wait for my sister to come and help me with the back and I'll see you guys in a bit. not burning by the way okay we're done nine seconds left we did it 25 minutes on the clock 13 weeks post relaxer so now i'm just unraveling the um the twist oh timer's off now i'm just unraveling the twist my sister finished unraveling hers so i take the time to unravel each one Alrighty. okay we're gonna rinse Let's go. All right, so I just finished rinsing out the relaxer. I um, used the Affirm Positive Link Conditioner. If you see me squinting, it's because I don't have my glasses on. Relaxer tends to get on the sides and I don't put it on until I neutralize my glasses. Yeah, you heard right. I'm gonna neutralize the sides and put them back on. But for now, I just wanted to let you guys know that I used the Positive Link right after rinsing out the relaxer. This was amazing, so I left this on for five minutes. Um, just clipped up my hair, no plastic cap, rinsed it out. The best slip ever, like hands down, super, super moisturizing. I felt a little bit of texture come back, but my roots are straight, so I'm very happy about that. And then I went in with the um, normalizing shampoo. So this was like the cherry on top. So I lathered twice with this. This is a color indicator uh, neutralizer, so it was completely white. The positive link basically does all the heavy lifting. It takes out all the relaxer within the five minutes that you leave it on. 
and you're basically done. So right now I'm just t-shirt drying, just getting ready to deep condition and I'm gonna neutralize my glasses. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So the sides have relaxer on them and if I put this on, this is going to go right into my hair. So I'm gonna rinse it off first, just some warm water. So I just take a little bit of this, small amount, and I just kind of just rub the sides. And I totally forgot to show you guys my hair. So let me open this up. So this is what the um, silicone mix bamboo looks like. It's nice orange and thick. It has a strong perfumey type scent. I don't mind it because it kind of just makes your hair smell like perfume as the week goes on. But let me show you what the hair looks like. Ooh, hair is flat, flat, okay? Like zero roots. Hair feels so soft, like it's crazy. This is what it looks like. I don't know why this robe is so crushed. Like I can't with it. The quickest thing I could find. Oh my gosh. Like, what is going on? Oh well. You just gotta grab what you can grab. This is what we're gonna be using. I think I put a little bit too much, but um, actually, you know, let me scoop some out because we can't be wasting product over here. No. All right, this looks better. I just want to show you guys, don't mind my fingers, <laughs> they look terrible, but I just want to show you guys the amount of hair I lost um, while putting on the deep conditioner. It's not much at all, and typically on relaxer days when I lose the most hair. So yeah, it was pretty easy to get through my hair, I didn't really lose much, so just wanted to show you. All right, so it is 7.58. I'm going to deep condition, I wanna say, for about half an hour. So I'm gonna put 30 minutes on the clock. I'm gonna go under my hooded dryer. Um, yeah. Okay guys, so the relaxer took really, really well. Um, my roots are nice and flat. Um, the new growth was processed really good. Still a little bit of texture in the back, but it's not bad at all. The hair is full of body, lots of volume and texture and fullness. Um, I'm going to flat iron because I'm gonna get a trim. So um, yeah, this is the hair. It's grown quite a bit. Um, I think the healthy scalp challenge really helped to just um, increase the fullness and length of my hair over the past few months. A firm has been really great in terms of just like 
making my hair feel really moisturized and hydrated from start to finish. You guys know I had some issues with it last year and I wasn't using it correctly. So I was relaxing, doing the mid-step um, conditioning treatment, neutralizing, and then going back to that same um, mid-step conditioner. So I was told by Mary, my Avalon distributor, that I'm using it wrong. So I'm not supposed to use it after neutralizing and I'm actually just supposed to condition with like a regular moisturizing conditioner. So, ooh, you know I love a middle part and a low bun. Yeah, this is the ponytail. What else to report? No Olaplex was used and I'm kind of happy because I don't really need it with this system. The way this system works is that you relax and then you're obviously your cuticles are wide open so you condition at that point and then the positive link conditioner has tons of ceramides and things that really help to rejuvenate the hair cuticles and just bring strength and moisture and everything back into the hair. So there's no real place in need for Olaplex per se but um I'm happy with the results. Uh, I just wanted to use the system by itself on its own to see how my hair feels. I didn't use the Cream of Nature Bond Mender either. Um, so yeah, very happy with the look and feel. It feels really good. It has that weight back to it. You guys remember when I had those issues with thinning and um, shedding because of obviously the big C last year and my hair just wasn't the same. So I feel like it's come back a bit. Um, it feels better. And just blow drying got me so hot. Like I'm so hot right now. So yeah, that's all I got to report. Great, successful relaxer. I'm gonna flat iron and then I will go and get my trim and then I'll probably just show you guys the final look um, at some point throughout that process. But yeah, I'm happy. All right, so just one thing I wanted to address before I flat iron. So typically on Relax Today, I will flat iron some Relax Todays. I won't, I'll just air dry, put it in a bun and call it a day. But typically when I want to get a trim, I will flat iron. And I've seen some comments on my Relax Today video just saying, you know, why put your hair through more stress? You just went through a chemical service. Why would you add heat to your hair? So my answer to that is my hair has a lot of texture. So even when it's air dried, it's still kind of kinky in the back of it. So um, in order for me to get a proper trim and get the full length of my hair to see where everything falls, I need to flat iron it. I could trim it in this state, but in order for me to see the thinning areas or um, just areas that need a little bit more attention or just a better view, I prefer to have my hair flat ironed. When I'm doing my maintenance trims, I'll do it on air dried hair, but like an official trim trim, I will flat iron my hair. So just wanted to mention that and say it, but um, yeah guys, thank you so much for all the love on my Relax Today video. Like I still get comments, I still respond to comments, and um, it's crazy how that video has really blown up and a lot of people have incorporated the pre-parting um, technique to their relaxer routine, so thank you. I don't know if I said that before, but I appreciate you guys as always. So let me go and flat iron this hair. All right, so I finished one half. So this is it, it's super silky and soft. So all I'm doing is detangling first with my wide tooth comb. You guys know I love and use this. And then I go in with this finer tooth comb to kind of just remove all the tangles that this may not catch but this pretty much catches everything right now my temperature is at i would say about 350 it's a little bit past the 340 mark but not near 400. i'm gonna do this side Yeah, you see how that just got stretched right out? Here was a little kinky. Um, my nape is so stubborn, you guys. I have like 4C coarse dry hair. It's just always kind of relaxer resistant back here at times. Um, so flat ironing my hair is really important if I want to get a good trim.
So yeah, guys, I just finished uh, my hair appointment. I just came from Great Clips. Yes, Great Clips. I don't know if you guys remember, but in my few vlogs back, I was complaining about my ends being trimmed or cut um, just way more than what I wanted. My stylist did not listen to me. Anything I said was just in through one ear and out the other. So I'm like, you know what? Next time I get a trim, professional trim, it's going to be at a Great Clips or Super Cuts or something. And um, that's exactly what I did. And I was able to check in online and they have this really cool service where you can just input your details, um, name, phone number, and then you are given a, a countdown to your appointment. So I was about 17 minutes out. It's literally like five minutes from my house. So I was able to get an appointment real quick, you know, leisure around for a bit and then leave. So right away they took me and it was great start to finish. The stylist that I had, she was amazing. She really understood what I wanted and she took off about half an inch or so and there was not much on the floor. It was a decent trim. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And she took off what needed to come off. Another thing that was different, she made me stand up. I've never experienced that. Um, most of the time I'm sitting down and they, you know, they just hack off what they need to. But in this case, she's like, stand up. I want to see the full length of your hair. Your hair is really long. I got to see, you know, the ends properly. So to me, that was huge. She combed my hair nice and neat and evenly. And then she was able to trim the hemline and just, you know, even things up. So that was a plus in my book. And I'm really happy with the overall experience. So there's still quite a bit of length. The ends are nice and not entirely blunt, but it has like a nice, like straight edge to it. Um, so yeah, it still has a lot of length, which I'm happy about. Honestly, everything turned out well and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I know two days to do hair may sound like a lot and typically it doesn't last me two days, but in this case, um, it did. And I'm happy. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Doing your hair on your own, on your own terms to your standard, I think is huge. It's liberating. And if you are getting healthier, better results, then by all means, do what you got to do. So yeah, first relaxer of 2023 is done and it's been successful. So No new growth, flat, flat, <laughs> I'm doing the weave pat. So yeah guys, that concludes this video, another successful relaxer day. I'm very happy with the results, Affirm did me well. So the most I will do is just put a little bit of serum on my hair and then wrap it up at night. And um, I'll probably leave my hair flat iron like this for the next, um, maybe three to four days or so. It all depends on how my hair feels and how it looks. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just seeing how I do everything and just how it all comes together. But um, your girl's tired. I'm exhausted. I can kind of see it in my face right now. Oh yeah, I need to sleep. So um, on that note, I'm gonna leave you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys let me know when your next relaxer day is or how many weeks post relaxer you are right now. And subscribe if you haven't hit that notification button as well. That way you don't miss any new videos from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.